Welcome everyone back to RimWorld. So just after the end of last episode, we actually have another raid. Um, as you can see, the wave 2 is still 1.9 days away, so this is just a random raid. I think it's the default one that always spawns, so we can't avoid it. But again, it should be a really easy fight. It's just one person. It looks like the stats are actually pretty good. Um, but they have really bad traits, so I, I, <laughs> we don't really want them. Um, I might just send Melissa out to go deal with them. I mean, Melissa has a sawed-off shotgun versus a, a, literally a person with a hatchet. So, this shouldn't be much of a fight. Oh, and she died on the traps anyway, so really easy fight there. Alright, so before the next wave comes, I want to state kind of my goals for this episode. Today, I would like to get a crafting room down. Rub and you know actually get an established kitchen. I would like to get a freezer as well And I kind of want to start doing research because we have a, quite a few mods in here And I think we even have a few like new mods that add a few more researches So this should be very interesting. Uh, we are using the SciTech mod as well because I, th I thought it was kind of cool Like how long could we survive especially with psionics? So this we're definitely we have definitely have a ton of stuff to look at so hopefully we can research pretty quickly Let's also spend some of our achievement points. I'm going to spawn some cargo pods, and let's see what we get from them. Uh, they got a land, and we got... <gasps> that's actually pretty good. 30 hyperweave. It could have been a lot worse. Excuse me? <laughs> we just got a free cataphract helmet from today's airdrop, as well as three components, 38 gold, 72 steel, and some assorted stone bricks. Wow, an actual cataphract helmet. Just completely free. That's pretty insane. And because we can't really afford any food poisoning right now, especially because we will for sure be raided every two days, I will be putting down steel tile in the sort of kitchen in main area. Let's also put down like a kitchen sink. Um, kitchen cupboard as well would probably be useful. But these steel tiles, while they're not as good as sterile tiles, still give a little bit of a cleanly bonus. Alright, so we have, for the most part, finished up our kitchen now. We have a kitchen sink, uh, our, you know, stove, our kitchen cupboard, which gives 7.5% work speed, and this gives 10% work speed, so we're working like 17, almost 20% faster than usual, which is pretty good if, you know, you're just starting off your colony. We have our first, or not our first wave, our second wave in just four hours, so I think we'll do pretty well against this. Because we also have a shepherd trader here, so they'll probably defend us, and we won't have to worry about this wave either. Alright, here we are. Another raid from Yulium. Uh, one man with frag grenades, one man with flash grenades, and one man with an herb attack automatic pistol. Um, he just lobbed a bunch of grenades at some diamond deposits. I mean... Oh, Melissa! Shoot him! <laughs> um... Okay, okay, okay. I think she's good. It looks like Irwin is going to try and charge her, but that's probably a bad idea. She's got decent shooting as well as, you know, an SMG while he has pretty much grenades, and that's about it. Is Irwin... Okay, Irwin do, is the person with the frag grenades, so you might want to keep running. Thankfully, he's about to go down. Um, Torrance is just about to hit the trap line, so we don't really have to worry about him. Um, he's probably nearly down anyway. Okay, start running. All right, Irwin is fully dead, um, which is unfortunate. Did he have a flak jacket on? No. All right, uh, you run over here, and then uh, why are you meleeing him? Just run. Oh, no, you idiot. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Maybe I should have left him in melee combat. He probably would have done better. Um, Hirotu, how are you doing? Um, just a few gunshots. He should be fine. And go heal yourself. Alright, so... <laughs> what was it? Torrance's pistol is actually pretty amazing. Um, Herb Tech uh, Gilding, or Gliding, I think it's Gliding. Um, it gives 175% market value, 60% extra hunting stealth, and 8% more movement speed. Which is pretty good, especially for like... They just stunned all, their <laughs> all the animals. And then Isa has just gone down as well. Um, you're not very good, so we'll just leave you to die. But... Honestly, that was probably pretty good. We got a Glock with, uh, not a Glock, an automatic pistol with a pretty good infusion. Unfortunately, Haruto did get an infection for being shot, and it's in his eye, so I think we will be able to save his eye, but that does kind of suck. 
Wow, so that, a lot of that just happened at once. For one, we got our supply drop for the day. Just, eh, this one isn't that good. We got 50 gold, 158 steel, and the rest of it is just kind of assorted bricks. But we have an exotic goods trader here. Um, oh, they actually just arrived. Let's go send Melissa to go talk to them. We have a quest available, the Solitary Count, which should be the kickoff for, yep, it's the first quest that you can do. Um, a man-hunting chicken. Oh, no. Um... Want to get involved with the empire? Or do we want to make enemies with them? Um, no, I don't. I don't really want to make friends with them. And we just had a wanderer join Panda, a glitter world surgeon. How good are you, Panda? Um, Panda brought an an automatic pistol. He is misandrist ascetic, three intellectual with a double passion, so we could train him into an intellectual character. Seven artistic, five crafting. He has pretty horrible medical for his skill. Um. To be honest, he's not great, but he's not incapable of anything, so I guess we'll keep him. So here is the trader. Um, they have advanced components, so we're definitely going to be buying those. Probably all of them, actually. Um, if possible. I, I don't know if we'll be able to buy all that. They're, they do have an advanced bionic leg. That would be really nice to get. And I think that's... Oh, telescope is nice as well. Um, minus 4,000. That's a problem. You want to take a few components there? Um, take like... 30 components. Um, I want the hyperweave. We can sell a bit of this plasteel. Sell like 50 plasteel. Um, <laughs> we're not going to be able to afford all this. Uh, I really want this though. Advanced bionic leg. Uh, let's sell some gold. Like minus 100 gold. Wow, that's barely made a dent. Okay, I think unfortunately we won't be able to get the leg. But we can get the four advanced components. And uh, let's see. I think that's about all we can afford, honestly. So let's accept that and continue on building up for the next raid. All right, the third wave is here, and it's another raid by Yulium. Um, there's six people here now, so they're rapidly getting larger. One man with a knife, one man with an SMG, another person with another knife. Willis has a combat handgun. Connor has a Glitter Tech Gliding Machine Pistol, which is quite good. And Mercer has grenades. Any of these guys look worth recruiting, though? Um, not really. Connor looks decent. Um, fast learner, fisherman, bloodlust, amazing traits. Four crafting with a double passion, four mining with a double passion, and a little bit of intellectual. Doesn't look bad, but let's see what they do here. Are they sapping? It doesn't look like it, so we should probably line our people up. I'm not super confident in us winning this, so... Let's quickly line up. I'm going to take the turrets off of hold fire because there's no trade caravan. So we can just kind of shoot whenever, whatever we see. Uh, Kirk? Question mark? Um, <laughs> okay. We might get a free heavy SMG off that guy if he just stays there. Um, let's see what they do here. Oh, I need to put sandbags there. Oh, no. They're just going to use that as cover. Okay, okay. Let's put... Uh, before we do anything else, let's put some cloth here so that I remember to do that. Cotton. Yeah, okay. We need to put sandbags in front of this so that they can't run in front of them. We did immediately kill the guy with the SMG. So, this is going pretty well so far. Uh, one of these turrets isn't powered. Why? Oh, it's because the, the wind turbines aren't spinning. That's not very helpful, guys. And, oh, no. Thankfully, the guys with the grenades are just tanking all of the traps, so they'll probably die on the next one. Yep, uh, they had two knives on them, too. Look at them. Uh, it looks like these wooden embrasures will, unfortunately, break here. I might switch out these, uh, embrasures for stuff like walls, which just doesn't seem worth it. Who got hit there? Uh, Haruto got hit. You can probably switch over to your auto pistol now. Ooh, we got the, uh, machine pistol. That's quite good. Alright, move up. Them. Why don't you just run along the path right there? Alright, you're down. Okay, we killed them all. Look at us, killing the entire raid by ourselves. Alright, the fourth wave is here, and it is another raid by Yulium. We have Dan here with a, it looks like an, or an automatic pistol. Um, we have Schmidt here with an axe, or rather a hatchet. Smarty with a knife. Mr. Wendy... Is that a miss? No, it is a miss. Miss Wendy with a pump shotgun. 
and Shade with some flash grenades. Again, this should be a pretty easy fight because we have a traitor here. Or maybe they're going to sap through the mountain and we're going to have to go out there and shoot them. So, um, you might want to pull out your long range guns. Uh, okay, that's your longest range gun. Melissa, you have a sawed off. Alright, this is so annoying. Why would you do this, guys? Really? Oh, really? Don't dig into my stockpile. Oh, come on, dude. It's very annoying. It's not very friendly of you. Uh, Shade, stop digging, please. Because the thing is, is that they're just going to light my stockpile on fire. And it's so annoying to deal with. Uh, take out Wendy. Put it in some shotgun. Uh, Panda, be careful. Um, wait, you have Alzheimer's? <laughs> um, run then, Panda. We did kill Wendy, so Wendy is down. And she was the most dangerous one here, probably. Um, thank you for mining through my wooden door. I definitely appreciate that. Kill him! Just shoot him! Okay, you know what? Pull out, pull out, pull out all your automatic weaponry. And you're, you're just going to walk up there and shoot him in the face because it's one man. Shoot him! <laughs> you guys are actually bad. Shoot him, please. That's not hard. There we go. Dan is dead. He actually had a decent... Oh, no. He was trying to steal our hyperweave. That's why he was in there. All right. I think they're all dead now. But still, it's so annoying. Why would you ever dig through my mountain? All right, so we have a bunch of wind turbines now, and I'm starting on a secondary housing project because, um, to put it frankly, Pan has nowhere to sleep. We also need more wood, so I'll quickly queue that up, chop down all these trees, but I came back so that we could issue some research. I think the first research we kind of need to go for is batteries. And after batteries, I think we should probably go for the modern furniture and artisan furniture because those add some really cheap add-ons to like your bedroom and such that can make your people much happier without spending a whole lot. So those are definitely important. After that, I think climate control would be nice, but I think mainly for defense. Um, what kind of turrets? Can we get shields? Turrets. Um, gun turrets conceal defenses, okay? What about shield? Uh, repulsor technology. Oh, yeah, we need the multi-analyzer first. Okay, so I think after we get this stuff, we'll probably go for the multi-analyzer. And then after that, we'll probably go for the advanced multi-analyzer so that we can just research much faster. And then we'll go into shields. We have a raid from the Grand Elders, and it's wave five here, actually. Um, we have Gottery Vinter. We have Lotsy Chase. All of these guys are tribal, so I'm not all that worried. But if you look at their gear, they are wearing the Anima-type gear. And this is actually added by the Anima gear, fa um, I guess, mod. It comes with it, and they're essentially the magical psychic tribes people. That's kind of their entire thing. So if they get, a tri by chance, a psychic tribes person that shows up, they will be very powerful. But if they don't, then they're just kind of some normal tribes people with some kind of fancy clothes on. I also don't think I showed this off, but I did replace the embrasures with uranium walls because we had a decent amount of uranium. Um, each one of these walls has 750 HP. And I think uranium actually has the highest base HP for any metal wall. So um, they're kind of the best we can do right now. Cottery should die. So should Wagner. Um, yep, there we go. Jess might even die as well. And yep, Jess is dead. And let's chase down the last guy just because we can. So from today's airdrop, we just got an AS Val operator, which seems pretty decent, at least for our stage of the game. 65% um, accuracy, 55% for medium and long, 65% um, for close and short. So that's not bad. Let's give that to Larry, just because Larry has the best shooting skill. Um, you can probably get rid of your bolt action rifle, to be honest. All right, so we have a raid from the Grand Elders, and Panda apparently has Alzheimer's. I think I mentioned this before, but um, he just went on a confusion because he has Alzheimer's, which isn't great. Um, so Naruto actually got a sniper rifle from the drop from the day. Also, there's an advanced component that we should probably haul in pretty quickly because otherwise it might deteriorate. And that would be quite sad, losing an advanced component just because we didn't decide to haul it in. I did replace the embrasures here with uranium walls as well. Um, Choi just took four traps to kill, or to even just down him. Wow, okay. Um, Relin just avoided literally every single one of them. 
Uh, oh, it's because they have the nimble chance. The nimble chance. Quite good. Um, Vera has just died, and La should take quite a bit of damage. Um, Sniper Naruto. Or Haruto. Okay, you know what? You know what? Hold on. Before we go any further, I'm, I'm always going to mispronounce this, so you're now Naruto, okay? Um, please don't sue me. <laughs> uh, there we go. We now have Naruto. And Law is now down. Haynes, should we take these guys? It's probably not even worth it. I mean, Fletcher, are you very good? Uh, not really. You're a pyromaniac. Haynes, are you any good? Uh, not really. I mean, 11 crafting, 8 shooting, but your traits are kind of really bad. Uh, what about you, Law? Are you worth anything? I mean, you did lose your leg, but... 11 animals, 8 artistic, 8 social. I mean, this person's... Law isn't actually bad. Master Diplomat Fast Learner. Uh, 11 animals, 8 social. She could become pretty decent at construction and mining. We might try to... Ca I think we'll capture Law. Choi, Unstoppable Sanguine Jogger. Probably the best traits I've ever seen. Um, Pain Threshold. Wow, okay. Um, I mean, I guess we can capture you and set you to a slaver, maybe? That's honestly about it. So, Melissa, can you go stabilize her? And then Law, after that, will stabilize Law as well. Or maybe our turret will just instantly shoot Law. That's cool, too. Thank you, game. Ha, ha, ha. Very cool. We have a combat supplier here from the South Me Southeast Amanahira, uh, however you want to say that. I think it's Amanahira. Um, we have wave 7 in 1 hour or 2, so let's quickly see what these guys have. Um, we can sell all of our tools to them, which I think I will just probably go and do because we have so much crap that we just might as well get rid of. Um, steel maces. I, we could smelt this stuff down, but I don't think it's really worth it. I will keep the guns, at least for now. They do have a carbine that I would like to buy. A Glock, Zevtech, Xenotech Elite Modified Steam Tech Battle Rifle. Wow. A Xenotech Elite is insane, but it does lower global work speed. Uh, plus 10% medical break threshold. That's not very good. But it had so much accuracy bonuses, too. Um... I don't think we buy it. Yeah, I, th I think we're honestly probably good. Let's sell our grenades as well. And I think uh, we can buy a cat another cataphract helmet by just giving away a little bit of gold. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that, except... And, wow, that's actually pretty good. Who needs a gun still? Let's give that to Melissa, I guess. Um, 5.96 to 3.38, okay. Um, equip your carbine. And let's give Larry the cataphract helmet. We have another raid from the Grand Elders. Um... Wow, there's actually quite a few of them now. Um, again, all of them are wielding Ikwas, and in their, uh, their, what, what is it called again? Their, like, l -techs, what's it called? Gear, um, their anima fiber. Yeah, their anima gear. Okay, let's get our people to the front lines. We are looking pretty tanky. I mean, we already have carbines, valves, which I, th I believe is a rifle. We already have a little bit of cataphract armor, too, which is kind of insane. We also did just finish the battery research, so that's pretty good as well. Alright, Hazelnut is the first person in, and she died tripping the first three traps. Unfortunately, a panther decided to walk in and trip our traps instead of them, which is unfortunate. Clark can die here as well. Clark is indeed dead. Or, well, he will be in a second. Um, we have Odie here trying to push up on us. He's dead. Yeah, this is probably just going to be a slaughter. Ty is about to die. Huh, that rhymes. Ty did indeed die. But I think on that note, we will just about wrap up here. Today has been pretty successful in that, you know, we went through about seven waves. We have wave eight in 1.9 days. We managed to capture a prisoner. We did get a new colonist, Panda. By the way, I would like to mention that you can probably leave a comment down below uh, with a name, and I'll probably put you in because we're, I'm expecting to have quite a few colonists. Um, overall pretty successful. We also got the battery research, massively increased our power grid, um, m we massively increased our, you know, living space as well. We got a kitchen and freezer, a little bit of a research room, and I started building out a workroom as well. But with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day. 
and goodbye.